These cream filled donuts, they are a perfect amalgamation of cream and dough and sugar, right? Much like observability when you combine all the info together. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think we suffered through some bad days in observability, right? Back in the 2000s, everything was so fractured all these logs and metrics and if you were lucky you got traces how do you see like the evolution of observability definitely i mean observability has come a long way when it comes to logs specifically i remember those days you'd see system started system ended you know messages like that and then from there to you know tailing of logs now here we are with enriched logs right how is that like different from what we already have like metrics and trace how is it different so let's take CPU metric, right? So it shows the trend in terms of the data, right? So at 2 a.m. in the morning, it was like 95%. To 5 a.m., it, it, it became 70%. And in terms of traces, when you take a micro uh, services architecture, the traces show the different services that were involved oh, and yeah, yeah. The, the path it took through, right? And whereas the logs, the enriched logs, is going to give you full context in terms of what exactly happened and so that avoiding this swivel chair uh, observability that we talked about earlier. So you get all of that context in one place. So like, I guess what you're saying is, is you could put some metric information in there and you could put a trace ID in there. And then in addition to that, you could put like, how did those downstream services perform? But you're putting it all in one place, much easier for analytics, right? Much easier to get all of that data out. And therefore, like if I'm doing a query or something, I can correlate and join and exactly. like aggregate that data so, so much more easily. Yeah, you have all of this information. You look at a particular log event, you get so much of information, so much of context. So you don't have to you know, switch between so many different screens as you did in the 2000s, right? Yeah, yeah. And then like that must be amazing for LLMs. Because you can give them all this rich context and they can say, oh, this came from an Nginx server and its response time was X. And you get so much more understanding with what you're calling a rich log. I really love this concept. It's going to absolutely revolutionize AI for sure. What they do is, is they take a log that happens at the end of that trace occurring and then they log all this stuff, right? Like these are big, right? Why, yeah, you know, yeah. why log events? Right. They're big, yeah, right? Yeah. So you have a lot of data in there. Yeah. And so like one of the things that it really helps you with, the things that like the practitioners are telling us, like they're nailing down, is it helps you find unknown unknowns, right? You know, it's promise, the promise of this industry has always been, we'll help you find the unknown no, no, unknowns. No, 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 it's for sure. <laughs> but it's not happened though, has it? Mm, it's not, not at all. No. The current like observability industry promises on this, but it does not deliver. And I think the only way they're going to get there is with enriched logs. People have got to start using it. Now there is some fear because these things are big. Mm -hmm. So it uses a lot of data. As an SRE, you know, we talked, uh, we've talked about cost concerns, right? What do you think like the extra value on top? Do you think it's significant enough to, to suck up the cost? Is that? Yeah, absolutely. With that context, more context, you're gonna you're gonna bring it, it 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 impacts your bottom line metrics, right? Yeah. So directly you're having an impact to your end customers and also bringing down the cost in terms of toiling between different tools and trying to figure out what's happening. So all the extra context is definitely helpful to understand, you know, when you're troubleshooting as an SRE, as a practitioner. And to your point that uh, it's going to be a game changer, add LLMs to it, it's going to be a whole other uh, experience for whole another future for our SRE engineers. When we talk about justification for projects, it usually comes down to three things. One is uh, make money, save money and reduce risk, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And I always think that they're not equal, right? Make money always like trumps everything, right? If you can make more money, then the costs take care of themselves, right? <laughs> I think this has the ability to make money and reduce risk, right? Significantly. It and totally it's... outweighs the cost aspect of exactly. it. Exactly. That's exactly what I was about to say. It also addresses the cost. So the three, three factors are all met, right? With enriched locks. How do you think it's going to like change the day to day way that SREs do their jobs? It's going to benefit them more than anything 
uh, when when they are uh, looking at incidents. Uh, so imagine with more context aware, more enriched logs, instead of getting a customer ID and some timestamp and whatnot, if they have the user ID, if they have the application, if they have the service that's coming from more and more context added, you're going to have a complete picture of, you know, what's happening instead of like looking at 10 different logs, just one log more enriched and you have all that information. And so from an SRE's perspective, you now have a fighting chance of actually querying, like you said, from like a user ID or maybe a business identifier, like a merchant ID or something like that. And then you can see all of the stuff that relates to that specific user or a specific merchant or a specific machine or something like that. And it makes it very, very easy to both get the data back and then quickly flip it to visualize that data. I'm excited. I can tell you're excited. <laughs>